IGCSC CIE International Examinations How to Solve Such Problems Related to Business Documents Topic Transactions are given, source documents, books of original entry, debit and credit accounts of the transaction are to be sought out. Let's see, this is the question. The following table shows selected transactions relating to a sole trader Daniel. Complete the following table by including the relevant information in the blank spaces. Transaction 1. Sales on credit to Mohsen. Let's see the solution. Sales on credit to Mohsen, the source document from where we can get this information is the sales invoice. This is the document which will give us details about the sale of goods on credit to Mohsen. Furthermore, the book of original entry will be the sales day book. This is the book in which we first of all record the credit sale of goods. Accounts to be debited is the trade receivable account of Mohsen. Account to be credited is the sales account. Transaction 2. Cash purchases. In our purchases journal, only credit purchases of goods are recorded. Because these are cash purchases, so they will be recorded in the journal journal or you can see the cash book. So, the cash purchases will be informed to us by purchase invoice. The information could be traced out from the cash book. The debit and credit accounts are purchases debit and cash or bank credit. If we are making payment by check, then bank credit. If we are making payment in cash, then cash credit. Question 3. Check paid to Graham Finn to settle his account. Because we are making payment in check, the information could be traced out by check counterfoil. The book of original entry is the cash book because the checks issued are firstly recorded in these books. Check paid, therefore bank is credit. Trade payable Graham account is settled, therefore trade payable Graham will be debit. Transaction 4. Check given to a supplier, George and receive discount from him. Because we are issuing checks, so from check counterfoil we can get in this information. Because the discount received is also there, we can know about this through debit note or credit note. The checks issued are firstly recorded in the cash book. We are issuing check to settle the trade payable account of George. Therefore, trade payable George will be debit. Discount received will be credit and bank will be credit. Number 5. Goods returned from a customer Victor. Now whenever the goods are returned, the debit note and credit note are the documents which are used in such transactions. Because these are the goods returned by a customer or you can say the sales return, they will originally be recorded in the return in word or sales return journal. The debit and credit accounts will be return inwards debit and Victor's trade receivable account will be credit. Transaction 6. Received a check from Ali in settlement of his account when discount was allowed to him. We are receiving a check, we will be depositing it in our account using a pay in slip. Therefore, the document which is used in this transaction will be pay in slip. We are receiving a check, it will be recorded in the cash book. The accounts to be debited are bank because it's increasing and we are giving a discount which is an expense for the business, therefore it will be debited. We are receiving check from Ali, so trade receivable Ali will be credited. This is how the columns in such questions related to business document topic in IGCSC and CIE exams are to be answered. Subscribe, like and share Commerce Lecture Online.